Olá a todos e a todas, bem-vindos aqui a um especial do Visão Vermelha. Hoje vamos falar com uh, um benfiquista algo diferente daquilo que vocês estão habituados. Ele, não sei se está a perceber o que eu estou a dizer uh, neste momento, mas vamos passar para, para inglês, porque uh, se falássemos a, a língua dele, Uh, veríamos nos gregos, porque ele é precisamente grego, uh, é o Manolis que está aqui connosco, um, um, um fervoroso adepto do Benfica, que nós vamos uh, tentar perceber como é que ele se tornou adepto do Benfica, como é que um grego se tornou adepto do Benfica. Hello Manolis, how are you? Well, I'm fine, nice to meet you here on your podcast. Perfect. It's my pleasure. I hope to, to talk about Benfica, to speak about Benfica. Yes. It's okay. We can start. Let's go. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. And should I say uh, Kalinichta or Kalime or uh, Kalinichta? It's, Kali, Kalime? it's Kalispera. Kalispera. It's Kalispera yet? Yes. When, yes. when, when is Kalinichta? After what time? It's after 10 o'clock. After 10 o'clock. Okay, yes, good. Yes. So for the Portuguese people that uh, don't understand what we're saying, so in, in Greece you say Kalimera in the morning. Uh, Kalispera in the afternoon until 10 afternoon. and then you say Kalinichta uh, after 10 p.m. when you go to bed, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, um, okay. I, I'm going to bed after midnight but okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Now, I have something to tell you. Please let me know if my accent is correct. Uh, Signomi, uh, yes. milau elenica, uh, milas, milas anglica. <laughs> yes, I speak English oh, but perfect. you speak magically. Oh, perfect. <laughs> How did a guy in Athens become a Benfica fan? How did that happen? Look, <laughs> yes, uh, it all started uh, on social media, on Facebook, no Twitter or X. Okay. Uh, I, I met a woman uh, with, a lot of, uh, with a lot of passion about Benfica. Okay. Uh, I was reading, reading her text on Facebook in a group, Vertaderos Befriquistas. Maybe, yeah, maybe some I, people uh, watch us is in the group also. I, I don't remember. Know, maybe. Yes, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Group. yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was uh, very blessed, uh, very blessed for her text, for uh, he, uh, her passion about, about Befica. You know, okay. all this. I say, oh, wow, a woman. Because here in Greece, uh, the guests and the women don't uh, don't care about football. Okay. A uh, few women care, uh, but in Portugal, as I see, many women uh, they have passion about Benfica, about Porto, for all the things, for the football. You okay. know, all this uh, I like a lot. I don't know, I like a lot. Yeah, it's uh, different. Since then, I started to to watch get to follow more Benfica, to watch mm -hmm. Portuguese football. Liga Portugal, mm -hmm. uh, to reading news, to watching games. In May uh, of 2012, I made my first trip in Lisbon. Okay. Uh, and, you know, I was lucky because the day I arrived in Lisbon, Befica was playing uh, in Luce uh, against uh, Leiria. I say right mm -hmm. the name, Leiria. And Jorge uh, Jesus against... was the coach, probably. Yes, yes, it's yeah. the last game of the season. Okay. Uh, and, and I remember that it, it was a game without it because it, it was free for the fans. Okay. It was last game. It was free. And I say, oh, nice opportunity to watch to watch Benfica. Mm -hmm. It was my first game uh, in Luz. Uh, we won one nil white goal of Cesar, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Cesar were playing in the Sporting after. Bruno Cesar, uh, yeah. Bruno Cesar, yes, Bruno Cesar. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. so one in Leiria. It was my first time. Uh, the next day, I made that tour in stadium for the first time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel something special. I felt something special, special in this stadium. Uh, you feel something special. I don't know. Uh, before I visited Luz, I have visited also Cap Nou, San Siro, Allianz mm -hmm. Arena. A beautiful stadium, historical stadium, but uh, in Luz I felt something special, something mm -hmm. unique. The first time I, I felt so beautiful in one stadium, and then mm -hmm. I say, okay, I will become Befiquista, I will support this team, I will follow this team, 
since then uh, I follow is more than 11 years that I follow the Befica always. Wow. And and you watch every game? You try to watch yes, every uh, game? Uh, yes, uh, I lost only two games since uh, 2012. <laughs> wow. So how how do you watch the games? Do you have uh, at Portuguese channels or do you go online and No, and... Uh, we was uh, in Greek TV uh, will broadcast the games live. The oh. Liga Portugal, no. Okay. No the cup and the league cup, the Taka de Portugal, Taka de Portugal, the mm-hmm. Taka da Liga. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but when RTP International you uh, from the internet from the app of the TV, you can uh, watch the cup games, the Super Cup, mm-hmm. Benfica Porto one week ago, live from the RTP International. So mm-hmm. I only the games of the Taka, uh, Taka da Liga, I cannot, I cannot watch live. Okay, okay. okay. Only, but I don't care so much for this competition. I, d- okay. I don't like it. It's, it's like friendly games. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, some Portuguese people call that uh, Taça da Carica. You know, the <laughs> that that doesn't really matter. But Benfica has won quite a few. Uh, so that's yeah, yeah. that's good for us, right? So you, in It's, 2012... Okay, Benfica must win all the trophies. Even yes. in the unfriendly tour- tournament. It's okay. It's the medality of the club. It's yes. the right medality. But yeah. uh, as Manolis, I don't like this competition. It's yeah. it's very boring to say that. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not very exciting. Uh, yes. And then you have the group stage, and it's too many games, yes. and they're not that competitive sometimes, right? Not yes, not yes. that exciting, yes. right? So eleven oh. years ago, you go to the Benfica Stadium for the first time, and you fall in yes. love, fall in love with Benfica. For eleven years, you watch all the games. You you only miss. Two games. Do you remember the two games that you missed? Yes, the games against Porto, the the defeat uh, White Jose Jesus 2013, the two one. Okay. I was in the job. I was in the job. You were working. I, don't go, I didn't watch the game, and it, it was another game. I had birthday. It's my birthday, and okay. I was out with my mother. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't remember the year, but Mitro scored twice in these games. Okay. And we won two nil, I think. With Mitro. With Mitro. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes it, with Mitro. It's good that you didn't watch uh, the 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 game against Porto because I remember yes, that I game for the wrong reason. Midnight. I worked at it midnight. Okay. Okay. No, only live scores. Uh, no, <laughs> only I watched it from the live scores. <laughs> okay, so you go to Benfica Stadium, you fall in love. 2012, you watch the games. Um, yeah, I can say every game because you only missed two games in 11 years. Uh, yes. For me, for me, uh, it's imagine if all of a sudden I became a Olymp Olymp Olympiacos fan, right? So yes. I'm in I'm in Portugal. I've never been to Athens. So for me, it's a little bit hard to uh, to understand. How can you feel a passion for uh, a club that is so far away from where you are? Uh, you just meet one person that loves Benfica. So why are you so passionate about Benfica? Why didn't you become a fan of, I don't know, Manchester United or Real Madrid or some other European <laughs> club? Why do you think Benfica you. is special? Uh, I will do it. You know... I don't like uh, what happened with the big clubs, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Uh, you know, you go in the stadium, uh, the fans is more from another countries like China, mm-hmm. like Arabic. Uh, you don't feel the how do you don't feel uh, the people, the the the, the yes, local the people, people right? the, fans, the, the real fans, the local people. You don't feel that. And uh, Befica is different. First, for me, Befica is family. It's like second family. It's my friends. It's uh, the, uh, 10 trips in, in uh, Portugal. Wow. It's many meetings. Uh, it's a second family for me. You know, uh, it's not also about the friends about Befica. It's uh, we, su- we also support uh, each other and in the matters not related uh, f- to football. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's like some family for me. Befica is not only one game. The game, uh, one, no one game, the games or the trophies, it's more for me, more than a game, more than a, a club. 
it's, it's much more fun. It's uh, it's uh, Benfica is present in your life every day. Yes, yes. It's like it's like to have a family in Portugal and just to be away from them. It's oh, that's how. That's I nice. It, it's not a, it's not a, a club for me. Just a club, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to watch the game or to talk on social media about Benfica. Yeah. It's much more things. Some some say that Benfica is a religion. Do you do you yes, agree? Yes. It's almost like a religion. Uh, I I see this in when I, I I was in Portugal for the Benficaistas. Benfica it's more than a football game, a football yes. club. Yeah, it's it's uh, much more than that. Matter of life is amazing. Yeah. What you feel in in Dalus, in Lisbon, in, in Porto, because I I was uh, at Porto two times in. For me, Portugal is not only Lisbon. It's Porto. Yeah, of course. Aveiro, you know, yeah. it's many places, many people, many friends. You know, it's much yeah. more than football. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like Greece. It's not only Athens. It's uh, Kalambaka. It's uh, yes. <laughs> Thessaloniki. You know, it's it's not just Lisbon. So and and Benfica. Yes, is, yes, yes. Benfica is uh, is a Benfica world. Benfica is everywhere. Yeah, it's a world of club. Course. We have fans you in see, Greece. We have fans uh, in Vietnam. We have fans in Australia. We have fans everywhere. In China, yeah. it, okay, Canada, USA is uh, Portuguese people, but yeah. you can see any uh, people from Canada, citizens of Canada, to support Benfica. It's not only yeah. the Portuguese people. Yeah, you know, it's it's big club. It's it's football. Uh, it's special football club. It's not yeah. just a club for me. And do, do, I don't know how everyone I feel for the club. Yeah, uh, feel for the club. No, I feel, but it's okay. And you spoke. You spoke about Greek people, and as you know, Benfica had quite a lot of Greek players, right? Yes. Uh, Samaris, Mitroglou, Karagounis, Katsuranis, Mahairidis, Fisas that Fisa. we interviewed here uh, for for Visão Yes, I, rem I remember that. Remember? Yes. <laughs> yes, and yes. And now uh, Vlachodimos Odysseus. I hope I said it correctly, right? In uh, uh, Samaris, Samaris, and Mitroglou. You know, Samaris? it's not Sa uh, Samaris. It's Samaris. Samaris and Mitro and Mitroglu, no Mitroglu, Mitroglu, Mitroglu. Yes, yeah. Samaris <laughs> Mitroglu. Samaris now it's, Mitroglu. it's very important to say it correctly, or else it's something else, right? Yes, and yes, yes. in in your opinion, uh, which Greek player out of these Greek players had the biggest impact at Benfica? Because you watched you or you watched almost all of them. Maybe maybe not uh, you know, uh, Karagounis, no, but. Karagounis and Katsunanis not because okay. uh, between, uh, the years we played for, for Benfica, more Katsunanis, mm -hmm. in Greece we, don't, uh, we didn't watch the Portuguese league. Okay. You know, uh, and I don't have any much about uh, them. For Fisas I have. Yep. For Samar is Mitroglou, of course. Mm -hmm. For Vlahodimor also. You know, for me, uh, more, uh, Mitroglou. For the players, I Mitrogo. have yes, I watch it because two seasons in Benfica it was he, he was very important, a key player for the team. Yeah, true. He's yeah, a special. Is a special player, I think. Right. Yes. Uh, he has a very, a very different uh, type of personality. Uh, yeah. Very, very reserved. Uh, almost never smiles, but like you can, said, can, can person. You know, I met him uh, on Seychal, uh, the training center. Yes, Seychal, yes. Why, uh, Sama is a uh, metro, I met here in uh, 2016 uh, mm -hmm. on Seychal. You know, metro is more calm pe person. Mm -hmm. uh, don't talk a lot. Uh, don't, uh, don't mind. Yes, don't mind. Sama mm -hmm. is more open person. You know, he's nice, he talks like me. Oh, you are Greek. You come uh, from Greece to watch me. You know, it's different <laughs> people, different yes. personality. Than yeah, yeah. But yeah, for me, Mitrolu uh, was more important, more key player for the team. Yes, and he, he was the top goal scorer in the Portuguese league, and uh, we won and the, the championship. Goal against Sporting yes. and, and against Braga, against Braga, yes. they win. Uh, yes, it's important goals. Yeah, for sure. Uh, too bad that he didn't play that many um, that many seasons at Benfica. But now he retired. He's playing for an amateur yes. 
team in, in Germany, Germany, right? Yes, uh, yes, yes, family. Yes. Yes. yes, I saw I saw a picture of uh, Mitroglou, and he he's very big. He's working out or something, right? Right. Cigarette. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I I don't know if it was a cigarette or a headphone, but uh, he he looked to be very very big. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. And you, we spoke we spoke about La Jodimos Odiseas. There is a lot of conversation about uh, La Jodimos Odiseas, uh, and we are recording this interview just. Unfortunately, after an unfortunate defeat yesterday uh, at Boa Vista Stadium, some people say that uh, he didn't do a good job. And he's the national, yes. uh, he's the he's the goalkeeper of the national uh, Greek national team, right? W what what are your thoughts on Vlachodimos? Do you think that he does have what it takes to be the Benfica goal play, uh, goalkeeper, or do you think it's for him maybe time to move to a different challenge? For me, the second. It's time to move to a different challenge uh, because after six years in club, six or five years. Six years. Uh, six six seasons. Years, mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes. It's, it's time to and for Befica to have another goalkeeper mm -hmm. uh, and for the player to go in maybe in another league in Germany. He's He, speak German, uh, he speaks German. He speaks yeah. German. He was born in Germany, he born, right? He born, yes, he's born in Germany. Yes, you know, for right. him, maybe it would be better for him. And and now, you know, the atmosphere uh, is very difficult for him. I don't know how we play the next game against Amazora. It will be difficult at lose. Mm. Do you think Trubin you know, is going to start? Yeah, I think uh, Trubin will start. And also, uh, Arthur also, because... We don't have another set of four, but it's okay. Okay, yeah. So you're not a big Musa fan? Uh, I think it's for second striker, it's okay. But for first striker, we first need striker. something different. Yeah. So you, I hope you... to be the, the Arthur, the, Arthur the right Kavala. move. Okay. Yes, but we have to see him, to support him. Uh, I don't score three goals against Amador. I don't mean that he's bad. Mm -hmm. for it's okay, you know, because in so on social media, it's a little strange, the things. Oh, they yeah. So I, the players. <laughs> I, saw, I saw that you posted that before uh, yesterday, uh, and you've done it before, you know, because the Benfica fans, they are bipolar, as I say, yes, right? Yes. Uh, if yes. we win, we are the best in the world. We're going to win the Champions League. If we lose, we're going to go to the fourth division and the club will explode. If right? We are so, ready for the second division. After <laughs> so, the defeat last night, we are ready for the, first, for the second division. Yeah, and and a lot of people call you know call the players names and insult the players. What what yeah, are yeah. your thoughts on that? Do you, do you, are you a little bit more calm? Do you do you trust the the, the coach and and the players this you season? You know, I I trust the uh, the coach. I like Smith. I just on the last two games he made some mistakes, but it's okay. Even uh, Pep Guardiola makes uh, yes. makes a mistake, and Jose Mourinho. It's not you know no one is perfect. Uh, it's not the end of the world. It's a game. Uh, it's happening in football. Mm -hmm. the, you know, the medallion of the fans is to win all the games. It's okay. Uh, it's the right medallion. Uh, mm -hmm. Why this medallion? You can't be champions. It's, for me, it's okay. The mm -hmm. madness is that when a player is not score like Rafa, mm -hmm. who is bad player is trying to leave when he scores. Oh, Rafa, what a great player! You know, it's, it's a little madness of this. Yeah. It, it, João Mario, João Mario, no, we must stay in on pens. Uh, last season, João Mario it was a key player, important player. Yes. He scored a lot of goals. I Assists. don't remember the number, but seventeen, but I think. After the game uh, against Porto one week ago, uh, I see a lot of negative uh, comments about him, about Rafa. You know, okay, it's uh, against Porto was a match, not against, I don't say team, uh, okay, but it's against the second team in Portugal. It's not an easy match. It's a difficult for the players to be in a top level. It's the start of the season. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I don't know if you watched the game at Chelsea Liverpool. Uh, a little bit, yes. Yes, uh, uh, you know, second half, all the players, it was one level down. You know, it's uh, the start of the season. Uh, it's difficult to pressing when 
all the game to be a, to make a good performance uh, 90 minutes it's very difficult and not so easy no. people it's don't very understand hard. that people they think that from the first game the Fisca must play like last season it's not yeah. so easy it's different season because last season we had the World Cup yeah and we now lost we, uh, we lost three key players Grimaldo Enzo and yes, Gonzalo yes. it's not easy no. it's like new team uh, we have a new set of four a uh, new mid midfielder, uh, Koksu, mm-hmm. uh, and left, left new back. Left back. Yes, it's not, it's not easy. Otam, Otamedi was injured. Yes, that's true. You know, it's not so easy. It, uh, players it are not machines, are humans. Yeah. We but have I think to support the players. I, I agree. They won, and... they won two trophies, the Champions League and the Super Cup, one week ago. It's, it's not five years ago. Yeah, but we, we Benfica fans, we are very emotional, right? So yeah, when, yeah. when we when I we win, that. when we win, yeah. we will hug the players and kiss them, and and but tomorrow if they lose, we will, you know, slap yes. them and kick them around and insult them. And I think we need to find the balance, right? And and for example, with with Vlahodimos, uh, a lot of Benficas don't like him, Benficistas don't like him, and they insult him all the time. And I, I will never, I will never insult a Benfica player, right? I can make fun of Meite, for example. Meite, for, you know, I can too, make fun. I don't of... feel, I don't feel well to insult a player. I yeah. don't feel well, you know, because uh, next week uh, he can score two, three goals, and <laughs> after I have to delete the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> you have to delete the post. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, but you know, uh, us Benficistas, we we are crazy, and and that's. That's why uh, you go Benfica goes, you know, and have a has a game in uh, Albania. Uh, there's two thousand Benficistas there. Benfica plays yeah. in Poland. There's five thousand because we are so passionate about the club yes, it that it has the good things and the bad things, right? And we yeah. are very bipolar, unfortunately. Sometimes it's uh, toxic in yes. social media. Exactly. It's toxic. Uh, I uh, I watch uh, one hour uh, only le- negative comments. You know, it's toxic all this. Yes, I, I, I don't feel I uh, don't like this. Sometimes I say what I'm doing. Uh, I, I'm doing now. Uh, I'm doing here. You know, I feel a uh, little bad, but okay. It's Benfica. It's passion. It's yeah. uh, it's family. Yeah, sometimes it's you are. Everywhere. Sometimes we argue with our wives and our mothers and fathers and you know everything and yes, but it's yes, but it's family, yes. right? It's family. Yes, we love them. Yes. We love them, but sometimes you have an argument, right? And you and, know, uh, we can all agree with the same things. It will be boring mm-hmm. you know, to have all the same opinion. It will be yeah. boring. Six million. Democracy, no one is going. To, we'll yes, never agree on everything. Democracy means right? to have different opinions. And That's democracy democratic. was born in Greece. In Greece, in Greece. <laughs> so yeah. we have to be that, that's democratic to have uh, different opinions about the football, about all the things. But we talk now for football. That's democracy. But why is uh, the right way? No, why this out? Uh, wh- wh- why is to blame the to talk bad about the players? It's bad. Yeah, people must must understand that this is bad. It's not good. It's bad in much for the for the fans. But it, okay, we continue. Everything, everything for me, everything will be fine. The figure yeah. is have a good coach. I uh, I trust Smith. Have good squad. It's okay. Still, uh, with Koksu, he will find uh, his position. I agree. It's different. Uh, Eredivisie is completely different league than Liga Portugal. You know, uh, in Portugal, the is uh, the most teams they play only defense. In yes. Eredivisie, not happened this. Yes, it's very intense. Yes, yes, it's different. You know, he needs time. It's not so easy yeah. from another country, another culture to come in no. Befica from the first game to play like Aymar. It's not. It's not FIFA on PlayStation. It's <laughs> yeah. real football. Yeah, it's people, right? Yes, yes. It's like not... you and me. Yeah. Imagine uh, me to go uh, to come in Sweden. And yeah. to work in Sweden, it takes, uh, takes time. First year. 
yeah, first, yeah, 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 it would be complicated. You know. Same for me in Greece. You know, I don't speak the language. Yes, I'm yes. not used to the country, to the culture, to the customs. It's it's not easy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you remember what, what happened in life with Darwin, Nunes, the mm -hmm. first season, the first six months, no, because after the, the second part of the season, to, uh, he scored against Ajax. No, that's the second season. That's my mistake. Mm -hmm. Ajax was second season. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's, it's the same, like, like Darwin. We have to support the player, not to, oh, bad transfer, oh, uh, Smith is bad coach. Uh, you know, all this is little madness. Yeah, it's too much, right? And and I remember what the most Benfica said about Grimaldo. And now, <laughs> and now we wish oh, we wish we have Grimaldo we, a little bit of Grimaldo. Grimaldo. Right? Yes, yeah. yeah, but it's the same. Know, it's it's uh, it's been. Yeah. said uh, is one month out. I yes, think. four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah, okay. apparently. Let's see yeah. now why on. Only one left back, how the team will be working. Yeah, Only it's one not... left do, you, do you think, do you think uh, Ristic, uh, he has quality to be a Benfica starter, even though we didn't play much last year? I don't like, uh, it's not good defender. I don't mm. like uh, as defender. It's like Grimaldo, he's better, he's better to, to play as winger than yeah. uh, left back. Than a left For, back. Uh, Grimaldo as winger with... Uh, it will be the best player of Mefica. But yes. it was bad defender. That's the problem. Why is Grimaldo? Yeah. And why is mm -hmm. it? And in, in, in sports, you win and you lose. Uh, we ne No one likes to lose. But sometimes, uh, like our coach says, we have to accept. You, we, can't, uh, we can't go back and change what happened. So we're, we, we, are, we are lucky as, uh, as fans, as club, we have the right coach, we have the right mentality. Uh, for me, Smith uh, has the right medality, you know, to win the game, but it's okay. he protects his player, mm -hmm. never talk bad about a player. Last night, didn't, uh, didn't uh, uh, speak bad, bad about Vlahovimos, about Musa. About you anyone. Know, it, yeah, it's very important for... The, it's a healthy club, it's a healthy team in Benfica. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it is the most important. Uh, for me, that uh, is the... The right way to win the championship again. There is a big rivalry in Portugal between Benfica, Porto, Benfica, and, and Sporting, right? Yes. In your in your opinion, which is the biggest rivalry? Is it against Sporting or against Porto? What games get you completely crazy and screaming for Benfica? Against Porto. Okay. You know, yeah, I here uh, I follow Benfica twelve years. Uh, always against Porto is a big match. Mm -hmm. For me, may for all Benfica to be the biggest game against Sporting, but for me, it's against Sporting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and if we compare Olympiacos Panathinaikos, is it the same, or these Olympiacos and Panathinaikos is more extreme, uh, more crazy than Benfica and Porto? More more extreme uh, by the badminton. Okay. You know, uh, the the fans uh, a lot of vo uh, violence. Mm -hmm. We have sometimes pro uh, is more or less ten years that we don't have fans in our win games. The most teams, Olbiakos, mm -hmm. Panaikos, Aik, Pauk, Aris, they don't have uh, fans in our way games. You know, it's literally crazy the other things. Okay. It's not football. Sometimes it's more cool games. Than football, mm, okay. You know, it's, Portugal, it's more football. It's okay. <laughs> is 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 that why? Maybe do you follow any team in in uh, Greece? Do you have a team that you follow? Yes, uh, Olbiakos, Olbiakos, because uh, my father it was fan of Olbiakos. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the family Olbiakos. Okay. Uh, we follow this team from the day I was born. I'm Olbiakos in Greece. Okay. You know. But your but your favorite team is Benfica. Yes, yes, and I like more the the culture of people. I like okay. the country, the Portugal. I like the okay. Is, the football is sometimes is is bad. It's bad as a show. No, you mm -hmm. know, uh, bad games. The league. Uh, the people go. 
run the link uh, don't help to become better the championship uh, the league not the championship the mm-hmm. link you know that's the problem but it's big difference to watch Greek football than to watch uh, Liga Portugal it's, it's major <laughs> you, you prefer the Liga Portugal yes of course Okay. Yeah, it, it's interesting because uh, po- I think that Portuguese people and Greek are very similar. Yes, yes. Uh, mentality, same culture, right? And... Only in football we are a uh, little different. You know, okay. uh, here they see the football uh, more to, to uh, how do you say? So if, in Befica Porto, you go in stand for the football. You go to watch football. Okay. So Olympiacos, Magnaikos, sometimes you don't go to watch football. Okay. It's different. You can understand what I say. It's more about the the the. It's more about fighting and and the. Yes, yes, the, yes. The the, the the rivalry than the football itself. Okay, that's a stupid things, but okay, it's not my okay. job. It's not my business. Very problem, not mine. Yes, uh, and and go, going back to the similarity between. Uh, Portuguese and and Greek people. Uh, last year, I I was in Kosh, Kosh Island. Is that how you say it, Kosh? Kosh, uh, Kosh, Kosh. Island. Ko? No Kosh, Ko. Ko Island. Okay, so I was in yes. Ko. In, in Greek is Ko. Ko. Okay, you know? good. So yeah. <laughs> I I was in uh, I was using the Swedish uh, uh, way to say. It. <laughs> uh, I was in Ko. And I was walking with my wife, and uh, we it was very hot, of course. And then we saw a cafe. And the cafe's name was Dalouche. <laughs> and I said, okay, yeah, let's grab some water. And I go inside the cafe and I see a huge pic- picture of Stade Dalouche. And then I see a Benfica scarf. And then I see a Benfica oh. jersey. I'm like, w- wait, where am I? Am I in Lisbon or am I in, 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 in Greece, right? So I asked to sp- speak with the owner. And mm-hmm. the owner said that he was in Lisbon for the year of 2004. Uh, he was at the stadium. Uh, th- yeah. He saw Greece become world champion. Uh, sorry, European champion against uh, Portugal. So clearly, it v- it was very important for him. Do do some Greek people have a uh, a close relationship to that national team that won the trophy in 2004? Is it is it something that people still talk about? Uh, not so much. Not so much. Uh, you know, in Greece, uh, we don't support so much the national team. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> uh, because sometimes uh, the federation uh, is not working the, with the right way. It 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 looks so, like Portugal more or less. Yes, yes. Least. You know, uh, the fans of Olympiacos don't support the Greek national team because uh, the coach uh, don't call the players of Olympiacos. Oh, okay. It's more or less like we have uh, in Portugal with uh, yes, it's the same. With it's the, the same same. <laughs> Yes, you know, last season Fortuny's uh, player for Olympiacos uh, had uh, six assists and uh, five goals, I think, in three months. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was out from the national team. Mm, okay, you I, know, I, all I... The, the fans don't see all this, so you know. Uh, they think that uh, another pres- uh, another owner of other team uh, he uses the national team from for to play for uh, to call the call the players of his team and, you yeah. know and after to sell the players in yeah. uh, another league yeah like but to promote like Mendes. like Mendes. Yeah, so that that's when you know, Manol, is that you really know Benfica and the Portuguese football. When you say like Mendes, because you you know exactly how it is, you know, with with, with the national uh, team. The matter, the transfer of Ramos. Okay, it's Mendes deal. Yeah. Nothing to do with PSG, Paris Saint Paris Saint Paris Paris Saint Yes. Yeah. Or Benfica, it's Mendes deal. Who know? Who yeah. knows that? Yeah, he has uh, five players in Paris Saint Germain. Okay, when I well, you know, we understand what happens. Okay, we are not uh, two years old. We see yeah. what happens. Yeah, it's about money in the but, end, money and course, power. For that, uh, I didn't uh, vote anything but about Ramos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't have to blame Ramos. Okay, we know. Who is the person who make the made the, tra- the transfer? 
Η Νιόδρα όμω, ο Ρικόστα και Λάιφι. Η Ζώζε Μέντε. Ρενάτο Σάντζετ. Ζωάο Φέληξ. Ενάω Γκοσάλο Ράμο. After six months, uh, one good season in Benfica, and uh, uh, they go, uh, they take transfers to Bayern, to Paris Saint-Germain, and to Atletico Madrid. Okay, something is not normal, is not right yeah. for their career. So, yeah. Okay, but yes. you know, it, it's not our problem. It, it's not our business. Our business, our fans, is to support the team. Support the club. Yes, for We sure. don't win the money for the transfers. Sometimes I, I read a good deal or bad deal. I don't care for a good or bad deal. I, I care want... for the players yeah. will will be the team. Yeah. For we... me, the best center for is Asu. It's the best center for. Okay. For me, it's, it's not better than Ramos as player. But for me, it's the better center for the best center for of, of Befica. Once again, we have to support the players. The rest is, yes. is not our business. We yes. don't win anything from that. And Manol, is we're we're almost uh, running out of time, but I want you to tell me what a uh, beautiful shirt you have today. Where did you get that shirt? And I see some signatures on the beautiful Mantu Sagrado that you have. Can you talk a little it's bit a about signature that? Signature shirt is a Aymar and Garay. Wow. a gift from a friend. Uh, from my last uh, trip in Lisbon, 2016, uh, after the game against Zenit, why the Zonas goal? One mm -hmm. name. I was there. The <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Was it the game that Bruno Alves played and everyone started booing him? Remember? Because yes, he yes, was a. Yes. Yeah, 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 I was there. <laughs> and uh, Zonas he scored in uh, Sagres. Uh, I was in Sagres uh, Piso Zero. Piso Zero. Uh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Piso Zero. I remember nice. <laughs> and it's a gift from our friend. It's a guy, the signature of Aymar and Garay. Most of your friends are uh, from Benfica. Uh, most, yes, yes. most in Portugal, yeah. all my friends are Benfica. In Portugal, all my <laughs> friends are Benfica. I don't have friends from another teams. You don't have friends from <laughs> Porto or Sporting? No, no, no. All my friends are Benfica. Are <laughs> Benficaistas? No, Benficaistas. What would you do if uh, Benfica was not in your life? If Benfica did not exist? Take your time. <laughs> I I didn't have uh, so many good friends. I didn't have a second family. Uh, I didn't have meeting uh, meet met. Sorry, I didn't have met uh, the passion for a club like Benfica. You know, Benfica for me is special, unique story. It's not just a tweet on Twitter or a post on Facebook. Even in, or uh, I forgot to say something in the start of the podcast. I want to say that Marta Mesquita is the reason that I'm here now. Obrigado, Marta. Is the, <laughs> yes. Is the, may you follow Marta on Twitter? I think you follow Marta on Twitter. Okay. But okay. Uh, She's responsible. Is the reason, yes. Is the reason <laughs> the person who made me to love Befica. You know, oh. why, without Marta, I had the lo I will have lost 20 years without so many friends, so many memories, so many beautiful memories. It's not just memories, it's beautiful memories. It's unique memories. That's very, very yeah. beautiful feeling. And I, I'm, yes, I'm feeling, beautiful. I'm feeling what you're saying and we have never met uh and i've never spoke with you before just just sometimes on on uh, messaging and i understand uh, completely it's like you're going inside my brain and saying and so, everything. sorry for my bad english but i have uh, to perfect. speak english more than one year uh, okay it's like english greek greekly it's like greek <laughs> but okay manolis i i wish i spoke 50 percent of Greek as well as you speak English, so it's perfect. <laughs> it's very very good. Uh, and, and thank uh, you that you call me to speak on your podcast. It's my first course. time in a podcast, and I like uh, I like a lot of what we do we did tonight. 
Oh, very perfect. Beautiful. We are very thankful to you, Manolis. Uh, it's always nice to meet other Benfiquistas. It doesn't matter if they're Portuguese, you know, American, Brazilian. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's uh, you are a very special fan because you, you don't uh, have Benfiquistas around you. Um, you follow Benfica all the time. You're always posting about Benfica. Um, so it in and I understand that because where I live, I don't have that many friends. I came here for work. So my my source of Benfica is the internet and speaking with other Benficistas like you, right? So sometimes uh, it's difficult, but it's okay. It's the love and the passion that we uh, make me to love more the club. No, the yes. the I I can't go at least to watch a game. I can't meet my friends, but you know the the love is eternal. Eternal, of, yes. as they say, is, is eternal. And I I want to thank you, Manoli, uh, for taking the time. I know it's a little bit late in 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 Greece okay. than than in Sweden. Uh, Never is too late for the Fika. Never is ah. too late for the Fika. Beautiful. We're gonna use this uh, to promote the, the interview. <laughs> <laughs> no, perfect. Thank you so much. Manolis, and it was it was my a real pleasure. pleasure is mine. And I feel my that pleasure I is mine. Wanna... thank you so much. Of course. You trust to talk on your podcast. It's best. Thank you so much. I, I don't have the word, but thank you so much. Of I course. And uh, I feel that I want a friend, and I hope that we can meet in person yes. uh, at, a, at a Benfica stadium uh, or any stadium oh, that no, Benfica is game. playing. Yes, <laughs> but I will make a promise here. If Benfica goes and plays in Greece for the Champions League, I will be there, and you, you have there. to go to the game. Of course, we we Together. have an agreement. We have an agreement. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, of course. We have Perfect. deal. It's good deal, not bad deal. <laughs> no, it's a good deal for everyone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good. I will just say goodbye to the the Portuguese uh, fans, uh, and I'll do it in Portuguese. But I'll. Just stay there that I want I want you to stay okay. there a little bit more if that's okay. okay. And another word, de faristo, of course. Uh, I have I have to say. Para calor. <laughs> Para calor. Então, muito obrigado a todos do Visão Vermelha que estiveram aqui a ouvir esta conversa com o Manolis, um, um benfiquista dos sete costados, como se costuma dizer, que lá do longe da Grécia decidiu há 11 anos atrás ser um benfiquista ferranho. Uh, meus amigos e amigas, o Benfica é isto, o Benfica é amor, não interessa onde nasceram, uh, não interessa onde estão, uh, é o Benfica é isto, o Benfica é família, uh, o Benfica é estar junto das pessoas com quem gostamos e, e percebe-se e percebeu-se muito bem nesta conversa com o Manolis uh, a importância que o Benfica tem na sua vida. Obrigado a todos uh, e a todas que estiveram aí desse lado a acompanhar esta conversa com a Manolis. Nós vamos, uh, sabem aqui no Visão Vermelha, vamos continuando a colocar conteúdo sobre o Glorioso. Se quiserem, subscrevam, façam like, deixem o vosso comentário, sigam o Manolis na, no, no Twitter ou no X, uh, como queiram chamar, e um, o caminho é sempre o mesmo. Viva o Benfica e rumo ao 39. Um forte abraço a todos. Viva o Benfica! Viva o Benfica!